Nola Jen here at the Standard in Huntsville, Alabama. Good times in here. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Jen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review videos, we're on a search for the best food in Huntsville, Alabama at the Standard Social Market. This is an interesting business that's going for the feeling of a New York bodega mixed in with a restaurant which opened up back in 2021. The Standard Social Market is located in Huntsville, Alabama at 127 Holmes Avenue Northwest, Suite 102, which is about six hours and 440 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is my first visit to the Standard Social Market, and I'm here eating with one of my old rugby pals, Snowy, that lives in Huntsville, Alabama. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So, of course, they've got the place mat with her name on it, like so many places. And this is a really interesting place that's got a lot going on in here. It's certainly part uh, restaurant mixed in with the bodega and all kinds of different food items, alcohol items, and a lot of local uh, artisanally produced goods that might make your culinary palate happy. So you can stop in for a nice meal and then do some grocery shopping, it looks like. They've got a you know, decent little selection of items. It's not a fully stocked grocery by any means, of course. They do have some things uh, that are quite missing, though. Their butcher area looked a little bit on the bare side. And then they have some uh, spicy signs all about this place, especially in their restroom area. So uh, be uh, aware of that if you've got people that don't need to see things like this when you're out and about here. Well, I'm getting thirsty, and it's definitely time to get back out here and grab a drink before we have dinner. Now let's check out their cocktail menu. So they have an autumn spritz, an apple and pear margarita, pumpkin spice mule, vanilla and pear gin fizz, blood orange and ginger mojito, cinnamon bourbon cider, and maple rosemary old fashioned. Then we have wines by the glass with a Coppola Prosecco, a Klein Chardonnay, Santa Marino Pinot Grigio, a Fresnel White Bordeaux, Accentuado Rosé, Tribute Pinot Noir, Rheinmauer Pinot Noir, Doe Cabernet, Amanacea Malbec Cabernet Blend, Saracena Old Soul Red Blend. Since my pal Snowy knows all the beer brewers in Huntsville, Alabama, and we're rugby players, we're gonna drink beer. <laughs> I got a uh... Pale L, you got an IPA. So, prove. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now you gotta convince him. Yeah, what are you get? So let's check out their dinner menu. So for starters, they have loaded fries, fried green tomatoes, charcuterie board, house-made crab cake, pretzel bites, and fried pickles. And then their features are a standard burger, a chili-crusted salmon and rice, a grilled chicken Caesar salad, a grilled cheese and soup, shrimp and grits, steak frites, bacon chicken ranch flatbread, and then they have nightly specials with Tuesday pasta, Wednesday pork chop, Thursday pot roast, Friday fish, and Saturday steak. So they had another special tonight of a shrimp pasta, and then we also ordered a chili crusted salmon and rice. Now we also have a special challenge to another one of our rugby player pals, Henry Root here. So Henry Root, guess what I'm eating, and guess what Snowy's eating. Alright, so I actually was the one that uh, got most of the chili crusted salmon and rice. It also had fresh corn and black bean salsa, avocado, cilantro, lime, and creamy poblano dressing all mixed inside there. So this has some uh, interesting flavors going on. It's got a little bit of that Southwest kick uh, going on. The uh, owners of this joint came from Texas. They uh, were originally from El Paso, I believe. Then they lived in Austin, Texas for a while where the uh, guy did his chef training in Austin, Texas there. All right, so Snowy and I are doing quite a job of destroying our plates of food here. It's going down fast. And uh, you know, you don't want to get in the way of hungry rugby players when they're eating. 
Now, uh, there's also plenty of good beer being consumed as well. And Snowy's actually going to be taking me on a tour of some of the other breweries in Huntsville, Alabama. I had no idea Huntsville has developed so many local breweries as they have. So they really do have quite an industry in brewing here in Huntsville. So if you're a beer lover, you should definitely uh, come check out some of the breweries here in Huntsville. And if you need anybody that's an expert in the economics of beer, Snowy is your guy. So just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this food. And while you're down there, would you kindly go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So next we had to order dessert. So we got an apple pie along with this peanut butter pie that has some other interesting things going on here. This looks like quite an interesting thing. I think the peanut butter pie might be the better one. So I focused on the apple pie mostly, and I have to say I was a little disappointed they didn't offer an a la mood version. That just kind of seemed heretical to me. You gotta have an apple pie a la mode. Oh my goodness. So uh, look at this other pie though. I'm gonna try some of the peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. Oh wait, they uh, didn't really describe this properly. There's some very important other flavors going on here I like a lot. Peanut butter and chocolate. So yeah, clearly peanut butter and chocolate are gonna trump over the uh, apple pie if it doesn't have ice cream on top of it, obviously. So I think Snowy definitely won the dessert contest. Uh, overall, he got the better pie. Hey, you know, apple pie is okay at all, but uh, if you don't have ice cream on it, it's just not the same, at least to me. So, you know, overall, still overall generally decent apple pie. Could have had a little more cinnamon flavor in there for me, but as far as apple pies go, it's all right. Now, just like I totally destroyed this pie, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this apple pie and the peanut butter pie. And while you're down there, would you kindly go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip for both of our meals was $90.17. And Snowy bought my dinner. Thanks so much, Snowy. I really appreciate it. And hey, Roop, too bad you missed the dinner. You should have been there. So thanks so much to everybody at the Standard Social Market. Our server was really fantastic and took great care of us. So especially extra thanks to her. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Knowledge Gen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.